is going on boys and girls it is your boy temporary citizen and today I'm riding a Suzuki SV650 Suzuki SV650 now for information's sake this is a 2006 which means it is the gen 2 version uh, it's later on because it's got the black frame it's electronically fuel injected and it is a 650 cc v-twin um, now this in particular this specific one is a non learn illegal fully powered version um, however the bulk of the ones that you see are the learn illegal ones excuse me thank you god these mirrors are big and everyone's sitting well above the line yeah so non-land specific beast this one uh, it is also getting a bit on in the tooth it's done 70,000 kilometers and is ticking along quite nicely well it's not ticking actually which is a good sign uh, ticking would be bad so yeah this uh, this bad boy right here it's fully naked which is cool very cool very cheap they go for pff, I picked this one up now these older ones you can get very cheap uh, I think this one here was worth about two and a half grand uh, so anything along that sort of spectrum is an absolute bargain of a bike uh, you are getting a lot of bike for not a lot of money so Something like this is sick. The only problem is you have to tell people that you ride a Suzuki. Yeah, absolute stomper of a bike. So I'll uh, put up the learner restricted power values and then the unrestricted power value. Um, what else? It has conventional forks. So it's not as racy as some of its some of its brethren with its forks however i think jigsaw forks are a common swap for these to get that upside down fork goodness it's got a uh, twin discs up the front so it quite a lot of stopping power and yeah so it's, uh, it's just a good all-round comfortable bike um it's odd because you've you've got this upright handlebar position but it is still quite an aggressive uh, foot position, just like the Husky was. And it, it's a sport bike thing, but um, you know, you, you're quite aggressive with your foot pegs. So, yeah. Uh, a big thing is, for a taller guy like me, it fits me pretty well. It actually probably one of the best bikes I've uh, ever ridden for fitting my knees under these tank cutouts and she she scoots she scoots you know she'd be scooting yeah so for a, for a tool that it's pretty good uh, I would like the seat raised just a touch to be a bit comfortable but you know this bad boy is uh, completely stock except for a pipe works pipe is it it's um it's it's not one of your big name brands whatever the one on here is uh is a cheap budget pipe which is not bad for a cheap budget bike so it's a uh 
it's a good time. We're about to pull out onto the onto the freeway. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, my audio is uh, is acceptable. I'm trying out a new microphone, so fingers crossed. Chisel Gucci to go. But yeah, as you see, just cruises along. It's got six gears, so it's very comfortable sitting on the on the freeway. No dramas there. And it's very talky. Now one of these one of the issues that this bike does have from reading the forums is uh, because of the V-twin positioning, the front cylinder can get uh, can get uh, stuck. The front cylinder can get starved of oil pretty quickly if you're a wheelie machine. So, whilst you might be thinking to yourself, "What an absolute perfect thing to learn to wheelie on," I don't believe it is. Uh, Honestly, yeah, they're probably not the best bike to practice your wheelies on because it does have a tendency to starve itself, which means that it's uh, it's not an ideal little learner stunt bike. But I can't wheelie, so that doesn't bother me. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying. But yeah, uh, stock mirrors pretty dorky but you can see a fair bit it's got the big old pumpkins on it they've uh there's been quite a few revisions of the sv650 over the years um they've taken it away they've brought it back as a gladys the new sv650 x's look a little bit scrambly scramblery scrambled eggsy which is uh i like i like that but yeah it's it's not the prettiest bike in the world, but it is a very solid naked bike offering. And uh, potentially, you can do a whole lot of things to this to make it very, very fun and unique. It's very nimble. What else can I say? The seat's comfy enough. I happen to, uh, to ride this one for for eight hours across state lines and didn't have any dramas there as far as the comfort goes no issues with stopping no issues with taking off highway overtaking it absolutely eats that up all day every day no dramas whatsoever i feel like i'm going to be in their final destination movie every time i'm behind one of these trucks but uh Fingers crossed we don't die. Yeah. Um, good dish fuel efficiency. I mean, it's a 650, so it's not as hungry as larger engined bikes. Which means that it, it is actually an affordable commuter. Which is an important thing. Now, if you get a learner version of these, they do hold their value quite well, but that also makes them a little bit more expensive. However, uh, for a full-size big boy bike, honestly, I think the 650s get overlooked as full-size bikes a bit quite, quite a lot. I remember Walter terrific he, uh, he had his 600, and then he sold it, and he went back to a 650 V-twin, and everyone went, what the hell are you doing? That's you, you. Why would you go back to a, a learner sort of bike when you had a better bike? Honestly, at like real talk with temp sits for two seconds here, right? This 650 V twin, non lambs but lambs as well, is perfectly capable of like losing your license on. You can smash any speed limit, and you can genuinely you're quicker than most cars on a bike like this so if you're if you're worried that it's not going to be powerful enough don't be even as a fully qualified like fully licensed rider they're still good
good, fun, powerful bikes with no shortage of power. It's like, yeah, you could have more power. Most of the time, you don't use it. At least with a a 650V, when you can you can wind it out a bit, and you can't even really wind it out that much because it's still too quick. You're in second, and you you know you're doing 180 zone. You've lost your license. Like it's. They're still far quicker than road limits allow, and they're quicker than, than other cars are. So don't buy into the hype of, oh, it's not enough bike for me, I need a bigger engine. Because it's like, well, I've done 6.7 and 120 kilos, and uh, I don't need a bigger engine. Do I want bigger engines? Yeah. But also, do I need them? Nah. So don't buy into the hype, right? Don't listen to your friends about like, no, you gotta get a 600 because it's got like 50 more horsepower. So what are you gonna do with it? Because the other thing is, right, it's like, oh, well, I wanna take it to a track. SV650s make killer track bikes because, all right, they get a very usable torque curve. So they're very good on the, on the track and I, I, probably for other reasons to do with with weight and center of gravity and stuff. I would assume, I don't know, I don't go on the track. I like to, but yeah, you know, like, don't buy into all that hype of, oh, you need a bigger bike, because where does it end? Then you're riding a fucking Triumph rocket going, oh, I can't handle this thing, but I've got the biggest engine. And then some dude on my 600 flies past and overtakes you, and you're like, oh, oh shit, I guess my engine's too big. I'll go, I'll go a little bit smaller. And then someone with a bigger engine goes past you in a straight and you're like, ah, damn it, oh, I should have got that bike. Sorry for the rant. This is an SV650 review. Yeah, sick bike, mad bike. I haven't really got to uh, show you any curves or stopping power, but, you know, sorry about that. I can show you what it's like on a freeway though, which is an important thing, but just believe me when I say the brakes are adequate and the bike leans over. Alright, just believe me. Okay, God. So yeah, uh, is this the best value sports bike ever? Maybe. It's pretty good. It's pretty sick. It's pretty fun for the pro well, it's, it's pretty fun regardless, but the fact that you can get them so cheap makes them even more fun even more fun bro so just think about that all right now we're gonna get in front of this mustang by doing what i call the old right lane left left hop check that my phone's still in my pocket yes it is one hop left two hop left and three hop left and that'll basically do it for today's re review of a Suzuki SV650 naked. I've been Tim Sitz, you've been going, make sure to smash that like button and uh, write a comment because it really helps out the channel. And yeah, I've been Tim Sitz, you've been gorgeous. Adios muchachos, peace.